Okay, so we're back, and um, so this is what happened after that. If you guys watched, if you didn't watch the first video, you got to go back and watch it. But um, this is what happened after that. This is a very good story, I think. You guys might not think so. I don't know. This is just my life. This is personal life. So after that, so this is just Sunday, or no, was it Monday? It might have been Monday. I'm recording this on Tuesday, so it's like this is all just happening. Like this is just all going through my mind. Um, so then. The funny thing is, so we have this fair, we have our, our fair going on, and she's been telling everyone that if I see them two at the fair, then I'm going to go up to them and go all white trash on them. She doesn't say that, but that's what I'm throwing in, because she always talks trash about people and how at the town that she lives in, they're all trashy women or whatever, and they just have so much class, um, yet she's going to act just like them and try to go up to me and confront me and talk shit at the fair. She's like... She's like, I'm bringing my friend Zach, and just so you know, he doesn't have a good, uh, or he doesn't like, oh, he doesn't like to keep his mouth closed. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm like, what? Zach's got a problem with me doing stuff with another girl too? That's weird. It's like, why would you even bring a guy into this? This is just completely retarded. This is completely stupid stuff that this girl is doing to me right now. Um, but then she's texting Skylar and telling Skylar that she really wished she wouldn't did some of this stuff, said some of this stuff. Um, this is today, actually, as of Tuesday. She was like, I really wish you wouldn't have did some of this stuff. Um, um, not, I don't fucking know. She's like, I don't want to apologize. Oh, yeah, she said, she said, everything will be fine. I just want to apologize for Marcus. I'm like, I'm not fucking apologizing to her because there's nothing to apologize for. All th I'd be apologizing for moving on. That's completely stupid. Um, that's what you do in life. If something bad happens, you move on because I've had a lot of bad stuff happen. Now, here's where it kind of turns on me, and I get effed in the butt, right at the butt. And it's when, that next morning after I talked to her, or not talked to her, I was texting her and defending my girlfriend and everything, guess what I hear? She is cheating on me, or she cheated on me that night with her ex-boyfriend, which is awesome stuff, and um, I just love getting cheated on, because that's fucking fantastic. Especially when one of our first conversations was on her thoughts about cheating, and she said, why would you cheat when you could just break up with them or whatever? Like, cheating's the worst thing you can do. So she goes and does that. So we're texting the next morning, and I call her, and I'm like, yeah, I don't ever want to talk to you again. That's as low as you can go. Uh, I should have known I was dating a hoe. But, so that's how that went. So basically, she proved to all the people that was talking bad about her, she proved them right, which is, which really just killed me. Um, killed me bad. So now... This girl, Rebecca, and my ex-girlfriend, we're going to call her Tammy, because hoes going to be hoes, so I can't blame Tammy, right? Okay. So t um, so then I quit talking to Tammy, and Rebecca is texting Skylar and saying that she, or that, yeah, she was like, she's like, well, what if things go good? Like, what if I don't be mean to her? What if we don't argue? And what if things go all good? And, I'm, and, um, which, I'm cool if they go all good, but I don't want to talk to her. She's like, what if we talk, and then she's like, well, what if we, you know, go really good, you know? And, um, so now she's thinking, like, maybe somehow she can get back together with me. Then she's like, well, what if we kiss? I'm like, I'm not fucking talking to her because all the bad stuff she said about me, I'm not forgiving her, period. Um, she wants me to apologize. I'm not apologizing for that stuff. That's retarded. And then, I'll get back to Rebecca in a second. Then Skylar's girlfriend... Um, texts me and asks if Tammy can go to the fair with us. Like, I'm in the group. She's in the same car as us. That, no. That's, I said I don't want to talk to her ever again. Because she's a freaking skank. The skank. Just like that, the skank. Um, so that's completely ridiculous on their behalf to actually think I might fucking say yes. Um... When really, Skylar's girlfriend's not even supposed to be going. And by the time this video comes out, it's probably going to be four days after the fair. So there might be another update. I don't know. If you guys want another update, I'll tell you the update. But, um, so then, with Rebecca, Rebecca texts me today, like, like literally an hour ago, and says, you can call me and go on, go off on me if you want, but I would rather it happen before the fair. I may have taken it too far. I'm sorry, but I'm not apologizing. 
even though she said all that retarded shit. She said, I'm not apologizing for feeling hurt and betrayed. I don't expect her to. That's understandable. I'm not saying we have to be, I don't see why she's betrayed anyways, but I'm saying why we have to, I, I'm not saying we have to be friends because that probably won't happen. I'm okay with that, but there is at least needs to be some type of civil interaction. I was upset because I know that you're better than that. I was disappointed in the situation, whether I want to admit or not. Um, I think you would care if I went and didn't, did that because you know that I should respect you more than to do so. I'll always care about you. It won't fucking go over. I don't know. It says, I'm feeling like that. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. I got hospitalized today. I'll tell you about that in the next one, actually. Because yeah, that just adds to like the worst week of my entire life already. Um, take this for you what you want, but uh, I apologize for how far I took it. Blah, blah. Still, she wants me to apologize. I'm not going to apologize to her. I'm going to go to the fair tomorrow. I'm going to be chill about it. I'm going to be chill about the situation. She comes up to me, whatever. I'll tell her how I feel. I'll tell her what I think. And I think she's just psychotic. If you guys have any situations like this, crazy situations like this, please tell me. Um, this usually doesn't happen to me. It was just this. It's just this day. This is what fucking happened. So this usually doesn't happen to me. So I'm fairly new to this. But if you guys have any comments on this, I'll be sure to reply. Um, and if you guys have any help for me, I don't know. What, I don't really need help. I don't really care that much. But it just kind of sucks. Um, so basically, that's it for this commentary. Please give it a like. I I kind of poured my heart out to you. I was sh showing you my feelings. And the next video is probably going to be about me telling you about how I almost died. Um, so basically, that's it for this commentary. Till next time, stay classy. Leave a comment. Bitches.